On Tuesday, T-Mobile unveiled the G1, the first mobile phone to run Google's Android software. At a press conference in New York, the company showed HTC's dream running the software, though other device makers, including Motorola, LG, and Samsung, are expected to introduce Android phones in the coming year. The phone includes 3G and Wi-Fi capabilities. It has a full QWERTY keyboard, a 3-megapixel camera, and an accelerometer. Its web browser was described by a Google executive as a light version of Chrome that is optimized for the device and enables full HTML browsing. There's a full version of Google Maps on the G1, which includes the ability to access Google Street View. The phone does not ship with Microsoft Exchange compatibility, but can read Office documents. Responding to a question at the press conference, T-Mobile and Google executives suggested that a third-party developer could develop Exchange compatibility and post it to the Google Application Store, where users could download it and other applications. The phone will be available in the U.S. in October for about 180 U.S. dollars. Included with a voice plan is free Gmail access. Data plans start at $25 per month. The phone will be available in the U.K. in November and across Europe in the first quarter of 2009. Though don't expect the G1 to create iPhone-like mania once it hits the market. Researchers from Strategy Analytics are predicting that around 400,000 Android phones will sell in the fourth quarter of this year. In comparison, Apple sold over a million iPhones in the first quarter it was on the market. For the IDG News Service, I'm Nick Barber in Boston, with additional reporting by Nancy Goring, Mark Ferranti, and PC World.